um, I guess if you open the newspapers any day, whether it's Syria, whether it's um, somebody seeking diplomatic asylum in the middle of London, whether it is an investment arbitration case, uh, a new ruling in the WTO, uh, international law has an enormous impact on daily life. And what we try to convey to our students is the relevance of international law. It is an enormously growing field. Uh, it's a field in which you have rapid developments, um, where you can specialize in many subfields. And it is exactly that kind of broad developments that we try to offer to the participants in our program. Well, I guess you get um, an impression of the whole picture, uh, ranging from international trade law, investment law, to human rights, to treaty law, responsibility, the role of the EU in international affairs. Um, I'd say um, they should look at this marvelous law school that we have, uh, the group of teachers that are very devoted, uh, speak to their colleagues, um, and that should convince them. Now that's an interesting question because it relates also to the design of the course and uh, often maybe I should even start where they come from. Uh, because we, we have uh, a very interesting mix of students. Some uh, are basically graduates uh, from primary law degrees. Um, and by now, almost half of the class consists of people who have professional experience. Uh, people who are working as diplomats, who are working with organizations, who have been working as attorneys. Um, so. There is, is quite a broad variety of the background um, and uh, we can see that most of them probably pursue similar careers. Um, so uh, just the other day uh, we had a meeting with our alumni um, and some of them told me that uh, they are now working for the foreign ministry of a different country. Um, others are working in international organizations. We have a number of uh, graduates who work in law firms, uh, who have specialized in commercial and investment arbitration. So, um, again, this reflects the type of program which is quite open uh, to individual interests. And it's also uh, the fact that we have a requirement, a central requirement to write a thesis where students can specialize. Well, I'm, I'm a professor of European and international law, um, but my major background is certainly international law. So it's um, for the last 25 years, it has been international law, which has fascinated me. Uh, it's by far the most important and most fascinating fas uh, field in any law school. Don't tell that to my colleagues. Uh, but. Um, it's, it's a field where every day there's a new development. Uh, that's very challenging because you can never say you know everything. Uh, it's just too broad. Uh, but at the same time, as international lawyers, we really have to try to keep the whole picture somewhere or to, to, to be able to grasp uh, the entire picture. Uh, and, and that's part of the task that, that we as teachers have and that's what we try to convey to our students that although they have to specialize in one or the other field and they are asked to write very specific papers, do very specific research, that there is this broader link to the system of international law. Um, and that remains a fascinating thing. this has given you an idea of what international legal studies is about and I hope that maybe next semester you will be one of our participants. <laughs>